British Prime Minister Theresa May signed a letter to the EU formally notifying the bloc that the UK is leaving. Negotiators will have two years to reach a deal, though both sides have already staked out some contentious demands. Oh jung Yi sheds light on what lies ahead. The official process of Brexit began on Tuesday as European Council President Donald Tusk received the letter British Prime Minister Theresa May signed that triggers Article 50, which will take Britain out of the EU. During her speech to the House of Commons, May stressed that she will strive to protect specific interests of the United Kingdom and that her country will pursue free trade with the European Union. We will pursue a bold and ambitious free trade agreement with the European Union that allows for the freest possible trade in goods and services between Britain and the EU's member states, that gives British companies the maximum freedom to trade with and operate within European markets and that lets European businesses do the same in Britain. Tusk emphasized that the European Council will work to deal with possible damage coming from Britain's exit, ensure that the union acts as one, and make efforts for a smooth divorce. Our goal is clear, to minimize the costs for the EU citizens, businesses and, and member states. We will do everything in our power, and we have all the tools to achieve this, this goal. We will act as one and start negotiations by focusing on all key arrangements for an orderly withdrawal. This comes nine months after Britons voted in a national referendum last June in which Leave won by almost 52 percent to stay at 48 percent. The EU and the UK have two years to negotiate a deal on Brexit or WTO rules take effect by default. Negotiations are expected to begin in either May or June this year. As the British Prime Minister emphasized, trade is at the top of the agenda. The UK wants to withdraw from the union's single market, but hopes to keep some trade benefits through a new customs arrangement and an FTA. But the EU has been firm that the UK won't be able to, quote, cherry-pick elements of the single market. Other items on the agenda include a divorce bill of 60 billion euros, cross-border security arrangements, jurisdiction mechanisms for issues like trade disputes, and the rights of British expats in Europe and EU citizens living in Britain. The current deadline for the talks is October next year. Unless they agree to extend the negotiation deadline, the UK will leave the bloc on March 29, 2019. Oh Jung-hee, Arirang News.